Good morning, guys. This is Alex Hurd from Connection Christian Church. Um, many of you guys are probably uh, confused as to why they let me do this again, but here we are again with a another round of uh, daily devotionals. Uh, the team and I will be working through Second uh, John and Third John, as well as finishing up the series with Jude. And so we're just going to pick up where... Uh, the team left off when they read First John, and so uh, this round you're going to hear from uh, myself, uh, my wife Kayla Hurd, uh, Seth Aaron's, Daniil Beck, and uh, Brooke Nicewanger. So, kind of a new face that we have uh, bringing you the word. So, really excited to see what uh, she has to offer and and what her insights are. And so, really. Really excited to see her um, getting involved, um, which leads me <laughs> to ask you guys, you know, if, if, if any of you guys have watched these videos and you've thought, hey, I think I could do that, I think that uh, that's something that I might enjoy, uh, or if that's something that I might want to challenge myself to try, um, get in touch with me or somebody else on the team or even uh, Pastor Mike or Pastor Josh, they would love to find a way to plug you in uh, in that in that aspect, uh, we're always looking for more volunteers and, and more ways that uh, we can get people loving on 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 Jesus and and getting in the Word. And so, uh, if there's anybody that is really feeling that pulling on their heart, uh, feel free to reach out. I mean, we'd we'd love to get you plugged in. So, um, with that being said, I have a really short verse today, and so I'm not going to take up uh, too much of your time, which I'm sure some of you are really pleased about. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to quickly just uh, start us out in a word of prayer, um, and then we'll get into God's Word a little bit. So, uh, Father God, thank you so much for uh, this time together. Thank you for, for, for putting this passion into uh, this team's heart, that they um, are willing to take some of their time and devote it to you, um, and to try and connect people in Columbus and outside of our church walls to you. And so we're really thankful that you've given us the power of your word and that um, it's my prayer that we can use that word to impact the lives of many and to really just open people's eyes and ears and hearts so that they can see the love of Jesus Christ. And uh, we pray all these things in your name. Amen. So like I said, we're going to be in Second John, and we're going to be uh, in verses 1 through 3. Um, and so it says, The greeting, uh, The elder to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all who know the truth, because of the truth that abides in us and will be with us forever, grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son in truth and love. And so... Um, this is the second letter of John, and so John is, um, he, he's, he's writing this letter to the people, and he's saying, uh, all who know the truth. And so when we're talking about the truth, we're talking about Jesus, the Son of God, and that he came and he died for our sins. That is the truth, okay? He bore our sin and shame. He, he took that away, um, and he's the Son of God. And so um, with that being the truth, we build off that. Um, in verse 3, he says, Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son in truth and love. And so that truth is is portrayed there for us in, in verse 3. Um, and they talk about grace, mercy, and peace. You know, grace is us, uh, you know, getting the things that we don't deserve. Mercy is where we, we get the things that we do deserve. And then peace is when those things work in harmony you know uh, when when grace and mercy are working in harmony we get peace and so that was the one thought that I really wanted to leave you with today uh, and I wanted you to kind of reflect a little bit about um, what your belief is of the truth you know what is your commitment level to the truth is is do you believe that uh, you know, Jesus Christ is the, uh, is the Son of God and that He came and He died for us. Um, and then I also want you to reflect a little bit on uh, grace and mercy. You know, 
is there peace in your heart right now and what is the missing link if there isn't um and if there's if there's something that you feel is missing if there's something more that you think you can be doing if there's something uh that is weighing on your heart and you want to talk about it please feel free to reach out i'd love to discuss that with you um and so uh, those are the things i wanted to leave you with today okay grace and mercy uh and peace is there peace in your heart okay and if there's not what's missing and then also evaluate um how committed you are to the truth what is your thoughts on the truth and so uh i leave you with those questions um i will see you again uh next monday short and sweet there wasn't a lot to dive into today so um before we head out i'll just pray us out quick um Father God, thank you so much for, 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 again, giving us this word that we can, we can study and dive into and, and grow a relationship closer to you. Um, you know, it, it's everything that we have and everything that you bless us with. We give you all the glory, Lord. And um, we're so thankful that you are a, a graceful and merciful uh, God and that uh, by your grace we've been saved. And so... It's my prayer that we can continue to honor that and that we can find a way to apply your word to our life in a way that, that honors your heart. I pray these things all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jesus loves you. Peace.